Hey, how's it going guys? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're going to be covering how to find similarities and differences with Meld on Linux. So please check the link in the description, learn how to install Meld. Once you've got it, you can go ahead and open it up. We're gonna be covering the file comparison, but if you wanna learn how to use directory comparison and all of that, please check the link to the article that I wrote. Anyways, to start the file comparison, you're gonna click this button here and then browse for your files. I'm gonna be using this, uh, these Lua files that I've got laying around. And uh, we'll click compare. Now, the way this works is it finds the similarities and the differences in what you're using here. So if we see this here, we can see this function has got some similar words, but also some different words. And it's saying, hey, you can swap it with this way or you can swap it with this way. So if I want to make this over here similar to this over here, I can click this arrow and now they're the same. I can also swap it over here so they're the same on this side. But it goes through and it can highlight your code and it can find things that are different or similar. I don't really know why I would use it because I'm not really a programmer, but if you are, you probably need a diff tool in some way. And uh, you know, that's how that works. It also finds similar, uh, similar stuff and that highlights in green. This one doesn't have that. But uh, anyways, guys, that's how to find similarities and differences with Meld. I know this was a bit brief, but uh, it's pretty cut and dry. It can scan two files or three files and look for stuff that matches, and it can also let you make it match or make you mismatch it. Doesn't just have to be programming, it can work with like text. So if you're, if you're writing a script, like, a, like a, a play script, and then you see you use too many of the same words, you can swap them out or whatever. It can be used for a lot of different stuff, and as I mentioned before, it also can compare directories. So if you want to find the differences and similarities in two folders, maybe you're trying to keep them different or the same, you can do that. It's very useful and it will get you a long way if what you need is a good diff tool. So anyways guys, I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it and please check out the link to my article that talks more about this. And uh, you know, you'll you'll learn all of the new uses that you can have that you that you have for meld. So Please check that out. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video.